Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this whole week ahead. So um, I'm very, very excited to see. This will lead us up into the solstice. So it will be the winter solstice for us on Sunday, Sunday morning the 21st and the summer solstice for those of you in the north, probably on Saturday. So this is quite a powerful time at the moment, I feel. Lots of polarity playing out, lots of duality, light and dark, and this sort of endings, beginnings, this death, this new life sort of energy is pulling through, which is quite typical for around the time of the solstice because we've got um, the shortest day versus the longest day. We've got the depths of winter versus the depths of uh, the brightest warmth of summer, hopefully, uh, for you guys in the north. So, you know, it's it's not uncommon to be talking about this sort of stuff around this time of the year. So first of all, before I start, I want to send out an extra special welcome and thank you to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Your support helps me be able to do my work. It's Without your support, I wouldn't be here. I would have to be doing a nine to five job, maybe going back to hairdressing. So your support now and your support over the last 15 years has helped me continue to do my work. So thank you so much and I'm so pleased that you resonate and respond so well to what I create and what I share with you. So thank you. If you do get something out of my work and you haven't supported for a while, then please have a look on my website. You may want to book yourself an email reading or find yourself a meditation for a couple of dollars. You may want to support my work on Patreon. Uh, for a few dollars or whatever you can afford a month. Um, all that really helps me and every little bit counts. But without those little bits, then we wouldn't be here. So um, I just want to let you know that your support is appreciated, always appreciated, but it's also needed. So thank you. Um, so what I'll be doing today is I will be using my cards here. So if you're new to watching, I am going to be using my combined deck of Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle. And these have been combined to make a 110 card deck, which is really fun to use. So I'll be using these cards to look for the best card for Monday the 15th of June. That's today for me anyway, um, all the way through to Sunday the 21st of June. So I'll be pulling one card for each day of the week and then also one card for the theme for this week ahead. Um, just remember this is a guide only, so just take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life easily at this time. If it doesn't make sense or you're like, what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> then just let it go, it doesn't matter. It's probably information for someone else. So I'm not doing personal reading requests here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust you've been led here for a reason. Let's see what the cards say for this week ahead. Actually, I'll flick on the light. All right, let's get straight into it. I feel quite excited about this week and very keen to see what the cards suggest. I find these just give um, a bit of insight, a little bit of a sort of anchor points to keep us going throughout the week and just to help us keep aware of things that we might not have thought about. Um, so I'm shuffling the cards, dropping them, excuse my head, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to shuffle, I am shuffling the cards, and I'm looking for the best card for Monday the 15th of June, Tuesday the 16th, Wednesday the 17th, Thursday the 18th of June, Friday the 19th, oops, dropping more cards, Saturday the 20th and Sunday the 21st of June, and then the best card for the theme for this whole week. So what we need to know, the majority of us, I trust those cards will find their way to the top of the deck, and we'll go with these. So we have Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I love it when they pattern up like this, Saturday, Sunday, and then 
speed of light for the theme. All right, let's see. Monday the <laughs> excuse me, I will start again. Monday the fifteenth of June, we have this. Ah, oh, this card actually just jumped out of the deck. So that is um, when a card jumps out for me, I just put it back in the deck. If it comes out in the spread, I pay extra attention to it. So this card did was one of the two that just jumped out. It's card 29 called Sea Eagle and it says Reconnection. So this is amplified now because it jumped out of the deck. Out of 110 cards it jumped out and it was first up here um, uh, on for our reading for the week. So it says Reconnection. This is about flying high now, flying above the drama, the problems, the um, the situations in our life that are, are weighing us down or wearing us down. And it's, there's a supportive energy, it feels, on Monday to actually lift up above this now. Um, it may require a, um, a shift to our mindset. So we might need to really start the day or progress through our day on Monday, trying to think, um, maybe thinking in a favourable, uh, from a favourable perspective, in a positive way, we could say, looking at the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. Think about what you're, you're appreciating and what you're grateful for. Because all these things can help put us in a healthy mindset that supports us, that will then help us lift up above the storms that are taking place at the moment. And this is the suns out here too, so it feels quite empowering if we can um, give rise to the energy by giving, uh, it's almost like our thoughts are rising that energy or rising ourselves up, if that makes sense. It's like our thoughts are the currents of the wind and our wings, if we were the eagle, that helps us lift up and fly up above the storms. So be careful you don't feel your wings are clipped on Monday and you have to fly in the heaviness and the drama and the battering and of the, the stormy energy at the moment. Now this is Tuesday the 16th of June and we have card 12 called Floating and it says Spontaneous Calling, Mental Break and Escape. So this is um, an opportunity on Tuesday for some of us, if we're inspired to and if we have time for it, is to take a bit of a break. And this is especially a mental break. So we've got a lot of mental energy already coming through here for the Monday and Tuesday. So we may need a mental break. It, it may occur on Tuesday or we may think about it on Tuesday and maybe book the weekend off or book a week off in, in a month or so whenever we can fit it into our schedule. So this is about really thinking about and maybe even taking a mental break on Tuesday. The point of this is to give us a mental break, but actually the underlying point is to help us find a new perspective of the problems that we're dealing with in our life. So it's a bit like this card when I talked about, you know, having our wings clipped and we're being battered and, and tossed about in the storms of, of life at this time, if we can grow our wings if we can use our thoughts and our healthy support supportive affirmations and things to be like the current that helps lift us up above the storm it gives us a new perspective from up here rather than in being in the storm battered and and tossed about we're not going to see things the same way as we might see them from above and this is the same thing it's about taking a mental break stepping away from something that we're not feeling is progressing or that we're feeling confused by or stressed out about take a break step out into nature go for a drive whatever it is you're able to do that inspires you and that will help give you a new perspective so perspectives coming up it has also come up over the weekend in one of the cards that I pulled on our page the giraffe so this is Wednesday the 17th of June here we go, we're preparing for the solstice now, if we aren't already, which I certainly am. It's card 14, the Emperor Moth, and it says to put things into order. And we're not putting things into order because this is the end. We're putting things into order because we're preparing for a new beginning. There is a feeling here on Wednesday about dealing with paperwork, tying up loose ends, signing contracts. There's a paperwork sort of feel here, filing things away, getting things sorted out, um, getting things organized on a paperwork level, we could say, which is actually preparing us for a new beginning. This is not the end. It's actually the new that we're stepping into. 
Now this is Thursday the 18th of June. We have card 47, the owl, and it says persistence. This card's reminding us to be patient. Uh, it says patience, solution, question, answer, and night. This is not the time to give up. So on Thursday, we may feel a bit defeated. We may feel tired of the battles, especially if we haven't successfully done this energy here. If we are still um, struggling in our everyday stressful situations, we may feel on Thursday fed up um, and we may want to just wipe our hands of it all. Sometimes that's not a bad approach because it actually forces us to surrender our control because we're trying to control a situation so if we sometimes if we just fed up sometimes when I feel that way I just do it I go right that's it I, I'm not I'm not going ahead with this now or I'm taking the rest of the day off or I've had enough of this today and I just let it happen so if that's sort of your space and you've still been heavy at the beginning of the week you may need that to force you to surrender Others of us who have shifted our perspective, we're getting things into order here, sorting out paperwork, tying up loose ends, getting things organised maybe for the week, weekend ahead, uh, we're being encouraged to be persistent and patient and keep going. So there may be a setback that happens on Thursday that may just, uh, you know, I almost feel like this stabbing sort of setback where we might think that things have gone backwards or that this isn't how I wanted it to be so we might feel a bit defeated we're being encouraged just to be patient be persistent and just keep going if we need to take the rest of the day off or the rest of the week off if we can then let's do it but you know it's it's not about giving up although I do say that uh, you know giving up can be an opportunity to actually surrender our need, our need to control the situation this is friday the 19th of june here we go it's risk taking card 27 and it says journey unknown beginnings and confidence this is about taking a risk and following our heart and stepping into something new. Didn't I say here we're preparing for a new beginning, even though it might we might think early in the week that, and we may have felt lately that we're preparing for the end. It may feel like we're literally preparing for the end of our life. And it can feel like that when we're in a big time of endings like this. But endings and beginnings come together. So this is um, a shift here on Friday. So Friday the 19th of June and it says um, this is about taking a risk, following our heart and stepping out into something new, something unknown. So this is about building our confidence now to take that next step that we need to take to follow through with the plan that we've put into place previously and um, see what happens. Now, this is Saturday, the 20th of June. This will be the solstice for some. And it's card 37, the penguins. And it says unbreakable bond. So this is talking about connections that we have with others. And this is especially with people who are not with us at the moment. So they may be away. They may have moved out of home. They may be traveling for work or what have you. These people may be in spirit. So for some reason, this person that we feel a strong connection with is not with us right now. And this is a reminder that the bond of the connection we have with this person is strong. And um, actually, it's funny, I think about it now, because my daughter who moved out at the beginning of the year, she's coming to stay and visit on the weekend. So she'll be here on Saturday and some of my family too. So actually, this feels to me like a reunion so some of us may have a, a reunion of sorts with someone that we love or someone we haven't had physical contact with for a while if you don't have the opportunity for a reunion on Saturday then this is just a reminder a support really a comfort that your bond your connection will never end it cannot be severed it cannot die no matter of distance no matter of where that person resides. Now this is Sunday the 21st of June. This is the solstice for some of us as well, our winter solstice here in Australia. 
and it's card 41 called Light Codes. It says incoming information, memories and language. And this is new energy coming in. It may hit us like a ton of bricks. It may be as light as a feather. There is new energy coming into our body. So this is new beginnings. Now this is more physical new beginnings that we'll be stepping out into and you know taking action on new doors that we're opening maybe quite physically this is energetic so this is aside from this this is new energy coming in these will come into our life if you like as ideas inspirations um, and this um, may be a revival of passion within us this card also talks about writing so some of us may be quite inspired to write things down on Sunday more so than than usual so there seems to be a strong mental energy and also maybe here too maybe we could also draw all these four in to a strong mental start to the week so we might need to stay really on top of our negative thinkings our agitations our way of viewing um, our perspective if you like of ourselves of the world of others things begin to shift here around friday as we start anchoring more um, secure more new beginnings into our life i feel um, connecting with other people most likely and also new ideas that are sparked as we take uh, find the courage to step into something new now this card is our theme it's going to bring these cards these days together and help us see the bigger picture Oh, ouchie, this is card 42, the tree maiden. It says endings, surrender, growth, illumination. This card has come up, I think, nearly every reading we've done for the last two or three weeks now. Uh, and as a theme, it amplifies everything. So everything now that I've shared, everything that's come up here is amplified, like it's under a magnifying glass. So we may find things quite blown out of proportion. Um, as we move through the week our fear of the unknown may be really strong on Friday because that is part of the en energy that's coming through here with this card so because this is here this is amplifying everything so it's going to highlight endings this week it's going to highlight our need to surrender and let go and shed the old stuff that's been holding us back and um, bring us into a space of growth and new beginnings she is the burned out tree from a bushfire. She is, like I talked about in a, vi a video a couple of days ago, she's the shedding of our old skin. But she's going to amplify things first. Things are going to seem louder and blown out of proportion and a bigger deal than probably what they really are because she's trying to get our attention with these things that need um, ending, these things that have expired in our life. Okay, well, I did uh, feel that this was likely an amplified week around endings and new beginnings. So what we could also call that is a time of transition where we're in between change. Um, things may not be se feeling settled this week. We may feel a bit unsettled. Um, things may feel like they are going a bit crazy. So we'll just need to do our best to ride this as best as we can, flow with it. Um, think about the energy that's come through for each day and see how that fits into your, your days as you progress this week. And keep in mind our theme card. So continue to shed, continue to let go and surrender what you're holding on too tightly to and what about yourself and your life that's not working. You might need to shed it and let it go. So I know for me, we're heading into the winter solstice here. I'm going to be doing um, amp amping up my, uh, my shedding and releasing. I do a lot every day anyway, but I'm going to amp that up and do that a bit more. And I really want to strip myself bare of all the things that are holding me back um, as I progress towards the solstice on Sunday. Um, yeah, so... Mm, I trust this resonates. Thanks so much for connecting. If you've enjoyed the video, 
please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. So I have used my Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. You can learn more about these on my website if you are so inspired. So please visit templeofbalance.com.au if you would like to learn more about me and the work that I do here. Um, we have a monthly membership. Um, I've got my card decks, books, uh, pendants that I make. We've got artwork, services, crystals, meditations, ceramics. There's lots of different things that I offer through Temple of Balance. So if you resonate with my work and my energy, you might may find something quite supportive on there for you. Um, and there's lots of free resources too. So please check it out if you're so inspired. Have a great week. Happy birthday to anyone who's celebrating a birthday this week. Have a happy solstice summer. Enjoy the new beginnings that that brings, the harvest. And uh, for those of us in the winter season, uh, we may be in hibernation. This is a great time for healing and really shifting the shadows that we've been, um, that have been holding us back. So take care of yourself and I'll see you throughout the week for some supportive videos. I'll also be in our Pillar of Light Facebook group. It's a private group doing our June healing event on Wednesday. So I look forward to connecting with you guys then. Take care and I'll see you next time. Thank you.